Hey guys and welcome to another blog spotlight. In this spotlight I am going to take a look at the fluid ducts from Thermal Expansion 3. Now I've got some fluid ducts in my inventory here and first let's have a look at the basic fluid duct. Now the fluid duct is made using hardened gloss or you know some sort of hard gloss from another mod. In this case I also have a fused quartz from Ender.io in here as an option but yeah so you've got hardened glass that's a basic crafting recipe and you surround that with copper ingots and that will yield six fluid ducts now hardened glass itself is made in an induction smelter with uh, well by combining obsidian dust well pulverized obsidian essentially with lead and that's at a two to one ratio so one lead dust essentially like well pulverized lead combined with two pieces of pulverized obsidian will yield two pieces of hardened glass in the induction smelter okay so that's how you make the fluid duct now next here uh, next to it here i have uh, another fluid duct and this is an opaque one that means you can't see through it and this one is made by getting a lead ingot in the center and some copper ingots surrounding that so this is essentially the cheaper recipe so you can make this earlier on in the game because you don't need to have an induction smelter to create the hardened glass but you can get either one the uh, of course obvious advantage of getting the regular fruit duct is that you can see what's flowing through there all right so we've got two tanks set up here this is a water tank from open blocks and an empty tank from open blocks. Okay, so what I want to do is first show you how this works. So uh, the fluid ducts is uh, essentially replace the liquid ducts from thermal expansion 2. And liquid ducts, you could place those down somewhere. No, I'm in. Yeah, there we go. I was in adventure mode for a second there. Uh, survival mode sorry and um, yeah so fluid ducts like before you place them down they will connect up to any sort of liquid container or block which except liquids and uh, yeah that's that that would be it before so uh, before you could just right click them with the crescent hammer to change whether they were output or input you can no longer like do that like you did before because before if you did that the entire liquid duct would change now that doesn't happen however now you can actually uh, change each individual connection point so over here it's the connection point to the tank and if i right click that now it's an output like before with liquid ducts but the fluid ducts allow you to change each face individually so if i were to get for example a tank and place it there get another face which is the default one and different from the one over there so i can change this one individually as well now you also have the option to click again and it becomes invisible that essentially means okay we're not connected up on this side of course you can also remove that one but that would be sort of pointless Okay, so now it's an input, uh, an output, nothing, and an input once more. Okay, so what I want to do now is transfer the water from this tank here into this tank right there. Sounds easy enough. So like before, right click, that would output. Then we get a lever, because it required a redstone signal. Place it down, switch the lever, there we go. Water's flowing and it's transferring. That's very nice. Okay, now another very convenient new feature, aside from being able to, like this, send a liquid through the pipe, you can also filter the liquid. So you can right click your fluid duct with a pneumatic servo to install it and then you need to have your hand available so an empty hand to right click the connection point right here 
And now you have a fluid filter. So the pneumatic servo adds a fluid filter to that particular input or output phase of the liquid duct. Okay, and you have the blacklist. That means that when you, let's, let's demonstrate it. For example, if I get a bucket of water, very simple, and I click in one of the uh, slots here, you get water in there. Now it's a blacklist. That means that water is no longer allowed to flow through that particular, uh, in, well, in this case, output connector. So as you can see, my pipe is, well, my fluid duct is completely empty because water is no longer allowed to go through this one right there. If you right click it again, you will also see that we've got redstone control, which uh, is somewhat of a standard system for most of the things in thermal expansion. So in this case, the um, default is high. That means that you will need a redstone signal sent into the fluid duct to have uh, this, well, this in uh, output phase in this case transfer fluid out of its adjacent container into the fluid duct you can also set this to low that means that only when there is no redstone signal it will uh, basically allow stuff to flow into the system and you can also switch to ignored and that means that it will always allow fluid to flow through there. Now, of course, not with the blacklist, but you can also switch this to whitelist. And that means that any fluid listed in the grid here is allowed to go through. So we can switch back to blacklist and the fluid duct empties once more because it no longer water is allowed to flow through there. So that's basically it for the fluid ducts. Now I will quickly show the opaque fluid ducts. They are essentially completely the same. You can also switch it to an output phase. You can maybe yeah get the pneumatic servo on there. Right click and show you it does actually get water from the tank. Now, uh, do note that one uh, when this tank is empty, water will no longer be flowing through here because it uh, will only have water in the layer um, below that. And the uh, open blocks tanks do not extract water from uh, tanks that are at a lower level. So that's just a note that does not have anything to do with the fluid ducts. But all right, so that's it for the fluid ducts. Uh, one maybe possibly important note these do not break easily, but you can easily remove them by getting a crescent hammer, then crouching with shift and right clicking them. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the spotlight. If you, if you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.